Welcome into Extra Time. Thank you as always for your tweets. Craig hates this studio and has a bad back, so this should be fun. Uh, Stevie Nichols, Juliana Rock, <laughs> and Shaka Hislop are with us. Well, it's as not well. the studio, it's not actually no? why I've got a bad back. No, no, but the two will be <laughs> contributing factors to your not, mood. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the length of this extra time will be well, I know. a contributing factor. You've shown a bit of a chest there today. I haven't got any. What do you mean? I can oh, see it from here. I must have grown this morning. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> um, are City finally ready to win the Champions League, Craig, or at the bare minimum make the semi-finals? Huh. Well, it's interesting because uh, they, might not, they might not have a choice. What do you mean? Because oh. under the guidelines from UEFA, oh. if because of the COVID, if these games can't be played and the the home side in the knockout can't find a neutral venue, uh, I believe a team will go through on the coefficient. God, I've got no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> so our colleague Dale Johnson was at ESPN UK was talking about this the other day. Jules, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but it might not. <laughs> There could be a scenario where UEFA decides who goes through. Oh. Is that correct? Yes, but I think that's really, really extreme. They would have to go, you know, they would have, I think, to play one leg first. And even if that can't be possible, I think the last resort uh, has to be the coefficient. It's still better than a coin toss, I guess. But, uh, but yeah, but I think that's really the, the last resort extreme, extreme situation. Yeah, sorry, I should have just answered the question. Yeah, you should. Well, I, I, uh, <laughs> I knew that was a scenario that is not, is not out of the question, but it would be... Right. Scrap if, it. Thanks for bringing it up. If you if are going to do that, you might as well just scrap it. That's right. what I would say. I'm okay. not having a team winning the right, well, They probably won't have to do it, so let's just address the question. Have you not seen the pandemic? <laughs> yes, yes, I know, but they found a way to do it last year, didn't they? they found uh, I, I would say... Uh, if they get a, if they get Aguero back, uh, and that's a big if with what he's missed. If they get Aguero back, in, I don't know. If they get Aguero back, well, they, they should be fine without Aguero, shouldn't they? Well, they're okay beating. How do you clear that up? <laughs> yeah, there are no other teams, are there? Bayern Munich. The rest of the teams are rubbish. Really? Yeah. That's it. That's my take on it all. Stevie, are you okay? You seem to be having some issues. Oh, I've had a dry throat the whole show, man. Why don't you have a drink? I did. I've got it's over there in the corner. Water. Just, what are you drinking? <laughs> not what you think. Well, no. I, well, then I'm just asking what you want. Are you drinking water? <laughs> no, I'm not drinking water. I'm drinking. <laughs> I'm drinking. Uh... <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> Is that a very small <laughs> can, or have you got very big hands, <laughs> Stevie? Well, that dehydrates you. That ah, should do it. it should, should, water would be better than that, than soda. Well, it may, well, it may dehydrate you later, but what it'll do, it'll open the passageway now, oh, which is all that really matters. nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it sounds good, though, doesn't it? You don't, open the know, passageway, you don't want to know right? that passageway. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, don't know, you don't want to know what's going down Just that lying with shepherd, shepherd's pie and mud. <laughs> OK, why do, players, that yesterday. Why, why do players like Martial take so much criticism, Jules, for a dive while Kane goes under players creating dangerous situations and is barely discussed? I mean, I, I guess it's the... the, the I, I don't know the description of the, the referees. I think he's been highlighted now that Harry Kane has a, has a special Harry Kane move uh, to try to get a foul, but we saw against Liverpool that in the end that cost him an injury. So he might, do that, he might not do that one anytime soon again after coming back. So it's, it's hard. There, there's, there's a lot of things this week that I think have been very difficult to understand why some decisions are given at times. We saw with the Anthony Martial penalty against Southampton that, who really didn't need another penalty and a red card and a goal in that game already uh, in the in the Wolves Arsenal game. I mean, there's so much inconsistency this week so far in the games that we've seen that it's, it's quite hard to understand and to, to follow even. Why are you tapping the table? Why not? Would oh. be the other, my answer to that. Pardon? <laughs> why not? I don't know why, it's like in a frustrated way. Well, don't fidget, it's annoying. Right, Shaka. I'm going to do it more if I'm annoying Shaka, was Jesse Lingard the missing ingredient for West Ham United? A brace on his debut. 
<laughs> kind, of, kind, of, kind of seems like it, right? Two good goals, good debut for Jesse Lingard. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's working, and, and I have to say, working a whole lot better than I thought. Craig, would the appointment of Thomas Tuchel give Chelsea a bit more chance against Atletico Madrid to go through, considering that he has the experience of managing the teams in the knockout stages of the Champions League? Uh, yeah, possibly, yeah. Possibly. I mean, he's got more experience than Lampard, doesn't he? <laughs> That's not, yes. not up for debate. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's one of the reasons that the ownership brought him in, is to stabilise the whole ship and get the best out of the personnel that's there, that clearly the owner, who the owners are the owner and his staff believe that they're much better equipped than where they are at the moment. Simple as that. And that's why Lampard lost his job. Well, one of the reasons he lost his job. You're quite a statement. Athletic one of the best teams in Europe at the moment. Yeah. Jules, could Aguero to Barcelona be... So, we'll give him a better chance. Would be the answer to the question. Good. So, rather than your smart-ass comments. Which ones? <laughs> Jules, could... Well, I've let it be the best in... They are. Well, I know, but that wasn't part of it. No, but I'm just saying, that would be an incredible statement. You could argue that Atleti... Are out there with well, the, the statement, the question was, would he give him a better chance? Yes. And the, the answer to that would be yes. And I just added a little appendix to it, say, what a statement that would yes, be. Yes, usual sort of smart Alex, smart ass. There was not smart Alex. Answer. How is that smart Alex? It's a fact. Athletic are one of the best teams in Europe <laughs> no, at the I moment. Was. That's it. As you can tell by the tone. You can tell by oh, the tone, don't, don't you, when you come out with your little comment. <laughs> don't you start. Yeah, you're the head, Vance Carr. Hey. <laughs> it's the tone. <laughs> Mr Mendy was mad in the match against Burnley. <laughs> As my, as my wife, and I'm sure yours does, she always says, it's not her, what you said, it's how you said it. Well, let's not yeah. get into that. <laughs> <laughs> you lost a bit of timber since you've been off the beers. You look as if you lost a bit of timber. Yeah, a couple. One of your chins is gone. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Which one? There's still a few there. You've given it to me. <laughs> that's, got, that's why the beard, eh? Yeah. You had to cover the extra... Uh, Anyway, uh, right, Jules, could Aguero to Barcelona be a good deal for both parties, considering they don't have a number nine and Aguero is free in the summer? So there's, there's no free, please, there's no free transfers. That doesn't, that doesn't exist. It will cost them a, a big signing on fee, the big commission for the agent, big wages as well. He hasn't played this season. He's hardly played. So unless he proves his fitness and he proves that if they sign him and they make an effort for a club, remember, who has no money whatsoever, we can hardly pay the current own players. Aguero will, cost, will still cost them significant amount of money and if, he, if you sign him and he never plays because he's still not fit from this season, there's no point. However, we saw with, with Suarez, for example, that sometimes you can get a 30 plus player, striker, and if you put him in the right environment and if he stays sort of fit, that can work in La Liga. So maybe, but I still, I still think it's a huge risk. Jules, Don keeps telling me Harry Kane to sit. He's a done deal this summer. Harry Kane to City? Yes. Yep. In, well, in Don's world, in maybe. Do, yeah, well, in Don's, <laughs> Don's world. Yeah. Don's world. Don, yeah. Don, has, <laughs> so was that Don, was it Don the pundit that said that, or was it Don the journalist? <laughs> I don't know. In fact, they tweeted me the same thing. So I'd said something. I, yeah, I'd, on his, maybe a football manager. Yes, maybe. In his team, he signed him. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, no, but more, more seriously, City will have to go for a striker anyway. Whether that's Harry Kane, uh -huh. Erling Haaland, whoever they want to buy, they will need to go because Aguero, I, they, won't, they won't keep Aguero. There's no, right. I, I, I would find it really, really strange if they give an extension to Aguero. So you need another number nine. Go and get one, considering they won't be able to spend a crazy amount because they don't have that money, because it's a pandemic, because of all the, the reasons that we all know. So they will have to be very clever in the way they go and sign someone. And Hurricane will, will cost 200 million euros. So well, I'm not says, sure right now they've Don got that kind of money. Done. Where's he getting his info? I don't know. It, oh, I've dropped my mic. Is it his football friends? <laughs> Maybe it's football friends. Ever, like, Maybe it's Jody Morris. Jody or Frank Lampard. <laughs> exactly. God, um, I hate these. What do you hate? These packs. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he tweeted me, so I'm a Yeah. Like a bit with one of these green texts at the end of it, Kane, done. Yeah, he goes to me, Dan, off the record, it's a done deal. 
Oh, I shouldn't have said it. Anyway, <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> Mohamed Salah <laughs> or Cristiano Ronaldo? Who is more determined to score every time, Stevie? I'll tell you what, Ronaldo takes a better beating. Let's be honest. It's got to be Ronaldo. I mean, we, we would sit together watching games and, and we'd be like, no, you can't try and shoot for there. He would. Yeah. So... Yeah, I'm going to go Ronaldo. Hey, it's his new AirPods. What colour are they? I think they're black. Are they? Yeah. It just fell off. One's I fallen was, off. I was, trying... I was going to say that. <laughs> One's fallen into the... Well, I tried to act all cool and if nobody noticed it. That's all right, Stevie. That's good. Um, when are you going to admit, Shaka, that Ruben Diaz is the greatest centre-back that ever lived? Um, right now. Yeah, that's it. Come on, yeah, then. that's it. Make the statement. Ru Ruben Diaz is the greatest centre back that ever lived. There so, we are. What's the context of this? Just life. I don't think. I, <laughs> I don't, don't, I don't think. Shaka I, no, I don't think Shaka said anything. This the context is we tried to move on. Yeah, this gentleman is just a context. big fan of Ruben Diaz. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Is he a, if you could get back to us another day and say he's a big fan of Shaka's sweater. Right. Yes, Shaka really making an effort today. Uh, Stevie. What's wrong with this sweater? Well, nothing 15 years ago. And and, and 3,000 washes. Yeah. Must be cold in the house. No heating, obviously. Yeah, that's why he's got the long sleeve. <laughs> uh, Stevie, Craig and Shaka, what were your professional debuts like? Were any oh, as oh. eventful as the Southampton lad who got sent off after a minute? Yeah, well, he Ooh. didn't get dragged out the bar. You were drinking, weren't you, before? Yes. Yeah, because you weren't supposed to be playing. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I mm -hmm. played in the reserves the day before, <laughs> yep. and I was in the bar drinking because I wasn't supposed to be playing. I was 18, and uh, I was aged to drink, by the way. And I was having a couple of beers and some uh, chips. Nice. And I got the old the door burst open. Ed in his vest had come in and said, "You're playing." <clears throat> wow. Top that. And how did you play? My memory's vague. Well, you're drunk. <laughs> you blacked and out. I, <laughs> and I got cramped. <laughs> Very early on, no, I wonder why. <laughs> so yeah, dragged out the bar, <laughs> and it was a big game. Swindon at home in the Zenith Data Cup. Wow, wow. Because right. Andy Townsend had a hernia problem. Yeah. Did he nothing? He didn't want to play. Well, Andy. Uh, Stevie, so, your debut. A at a broth. I came on wow. for the last ten minutes. Unfortunately, by then I couldn't feel my toes because the broth is right on the water. It's it's famous not for football. But for Smokies, I brought Smokies. So I, ca I can't remember whether I kicked the ball, but even if I did, I wouldn't have felt it because my feet were like ice. So you, you're going to have to explain what, what brothies are, Stevie. Smokies. Smokies. Yeah, Craig will tell you. Smokies. Why, why can't you tell me? <laughs> it's fish, isn't it? Because I can't even remember. It's fish. <laughs> I can't even remember what game. <laughs> What kind of fish is it? <laughs> Smoky. Uh, I don't know. Right. Broth. Something off, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, you know where I broke this. It's, it's, it's just not like as famous for the Smokies. It's famous for Smokies, but not being right. able to know what Smoky is. Hold fort for us a minute. <laughs> I can't well. remember. Right. Uh, Shaka, your debut. <laughs> My debut came for Reading in the old second division, what's now League One. Away to league leaders West Brom. Ozzy Ardiles was my Got it, we Stevie. Lost <laughs> Have you got it? Yes, it's an Arbroath what smoky. Is... It's a type of smoked haddock. Oh, thank goodness. A, spe oh. a, special, a speciality in the town of Arbroath in Angus, Scotland. Wonderful. Lovely. Good there to go. know. Wonderful. Jules, what was your debut like in the fourth tier of French football? It was, it was not a really good one, the first game. I came on late and I made a couple of mistakes, but we still won the game, so that was fine. Oh, no. no you never played again, now you've got a podcast <laughs> with Gab. Lucky you. Yep. Uh, Shaka, as a goalkeeper... <laughs> oh, even I've got a call for that. Shaka, as a goalkeeper, what would you prefer in set plays? Ball coming into you or going out? Oh. Uh, coming in. In swinger? In swinger. In. Yeah. Yeah. What would you prefer to defend, Stevie, in or out? Um, I would, I would see in as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's easier to attack it. 
Final question. Jules, what do you choose? Another four years with Neymar or sell him to get money to invest and win the Champions League like Liverpool did with Coutinho and the throwing coach? <laughs> uh, you can't ask me that. That's so mean. That's so unfair. Um, and you do that three days before his birthday. Wow. Which is on Friday, by the way. Big wow. Zoom party. Wow. You, you um, what do I do? Is, is there an option where I can keep him and still win the Champions League? No, or not? no. Are you going to break lockdown okay, and go well, to? I a, guess are you breaking lockdown? I'll sell him and, then and go into a Neymar party. No, it's a Zoom party. Zoom party. Who's your you partner, know, Gab? <laughs> Have you worked it out yet or not? You're taking Gab with you, and he's just going <laughs> he, he, to he's going to bore Neymar about financial fair play for an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> but Gab doesn't have the uh, the the, um, the dress sense. No, no, that's that's <laughs> very true. <laughs> no, yeah, that's. Are you sure Neymar I wouldn't want him in a big Philadelphia Eagles? <laughs> to be top. fair, I would like to see Gab wearing those linen trousers that he wears with Shaka's sweater. Shaka's sweater, yeah. And then the big jacket that Gab the, wears. The 20 pocket with jacket. A, with the pockets with grenades in it and all sorts. Yes. I just don't know what he's doing. <laughs> oh, goodness. Right, that's it. We're done. All what angles, a lot of nonsense. All angles covered, Jack. Oh, a broth smokies. We learn something new every day. Uh, we'll be back. Yeah, smoke haddock. Yeah, don't say it as if you know it. I didn't even know it at the time. I don't I didn't <laughs> want to have both. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Good. Goodbye. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.